Hello, every burger. Welcome to this video where today we are going to be going over a little something called Data is Poetry Crunching the Numbers on Submitting a Poetry Book in the 2022. I found this when I was doing my research on everything that I'm doing research on right now. But the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because there's a lot of you who have been talking to me about submitting poetry manuscripts to publishers and entering contests and asking me questions about it. I personally have never done that. Okay. Um, maybe I should. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. I mean... Um, I think people do that to kind of gain notoriety, kind of work it into a book deal. And I've been doing okay putting my own stuff out, and I'm starting a publishing company. So I don't, I don't really see um, a need for me to do it. Here, here's the thing that I go back and forth on here. I don't see a need for you to do it, but I do see a need for the encouragement and the rejection because getting rejected is a big thing and a lot of people um put too much into what it really means like just because you got rejected doesn't mean you're not any good it just means you got rejected and you need to build up kind of a thick skin i actually just had to turn down a poem for the blood rag that i thought was a, a really good poem but it wasn't right for the blood rag, but it was kind of lofty and I feel like it took itself too seriously. And even though I, I liked the poem, for the blood rag, it wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? So just because you get rejected doesn't mean that you're not good. I mean, it might not be good. It might be like thrown together all weird and incoherent but um the more and more i learn about the poetry industry the more i realized that as much as people want to say poetry is super objective it still goes back to beauties in the eye of the beholder i have seen some what i feel subjectively is some trash get like awards and get picked up and like that and then i've seen some stuff that i thought was really good that got passed on by a couple people when people send submissions into me and they're like yeah you know um i thought i would try you because you know some of these got rejected or whatever it, it's shocking I'm, I'm just like all right whatever but anyway so this article here i think is interesting and it's by emily stoddard let me actually move over there oh yeah guys just so you know sign up for my mailing list i'm going to be sending out a big a big blast today is this going to go down any lower no okay so that's it so yeah emily stoddard i believe is um who wrote this and this first part i'm just going to kind of like gloss over a little bit i'll hit little parts but um, data is poetry crunching the numbers on submitting a poetry book in 2022 as you will see it says i've been keeping a spreadsheet of publishing opportunities for full-length poetry manuscripts since 2018 as i've detailed in this post it can help answer questions like what is the average submission fee for a poetry book contest who doesn't charge for submissions who charges a lot who charges a little if I submitted everywhere, how much would it cost? What kind of prize money is at stake for poetry books each year? What's the typical prize amount I can expect if my poetry book is the winner? And what other forms of compensation are given? Which publishers include author copies, for instance? So these are all really great questions, and I'm sure a lot of you have asked these questions. So this will be kind of cool here for you to go over. But this right here, um, she's got a sub stack, I guess. Um, go ahead and, oh, you don't even know. I'll have a link to this in the description down below. But this um, poetry bulletin thing, uh, monthly deadlines, ideas, and tools to revise and publish your poetry book. Couldn't hurt, you know what I'm saying? So uh, if you're interested in this kind of thing, 
Um, I would si sign up. I signed up for it, and I'm not even that interested in it. Um, so that's kind of fun. Okay, so now we have the second preface of this article. But there was a big preface, and now there's a second preface with bullet points. So that's fine. Intentions, why this project and data exist. I share this data to try to make the poetry book journey more accessible for poets. That's awesome. Next, I don't share this information to dishearten you. That's kind of cool that that was stated because whenever there's bad news, you have to, like as a hustler, you have to be able to look at bad news and go, how can I make this work? How can I take this bad news and make this work for me? Like, bad news should never make you go, oh. Bad news is an opportunity, okay? You have to look at stuff like that, or else you'll just go crazy. And honestly, some of the best ideas you'll have is when bad news hits, when your back's up against the wall, when there is adversity, and you will be able to get some good news out of it and make it into something awesome. I do share this data to make it easier for publishers to reflect on trends and benchmarks. Um, I especially invite publishers to notice if their commitments uh, line up with their practices. Two reflection points in particular for 2022. Does your website state the compensation provided, especially if you charge a submission fee? If your fee is higher than the average of $24, how does that reflect any commitments you've made? Um, okay, so this was actually written a year ago. Again, Google has um, bent me over and given it to me. So this information's a year old and it's probably different now, but it's still a good um, thing to look at here. So in just a couple days after this was originally posted, um, a, like five more listings popped up, okay? So this is 2022, okay, so um, how many listings charge a submission fee? So this thing shows you that 82% is charging a fee, 13% um, is not, and then the, the fact that there's an unknown is effing stupid, okay? Like, what kind of racket are you running if people don't even know if you're charging a fee or not? Idiots. How much are submission fees on average? 24 bucks last year. Or actually, this is probably from two years ago, so I'm really curious to see what this would be now. The lowest fee is $3, and the highest fee was 35 I don't know then how that gives you an average of 24 but okay. Um, if you submitted to every listing on the spreadsheet, it would cost you $3,000. That's the equivalent of buying 215 books. Here's the deal that just like boggles my mind why the i don't know what to call this side of the poetry world like the literary poetry world the fact that they think that this is okay oh i will just spend three thousand dollars on trying to win a prize you know because like i'm sitting here going okay well with three thousand dollars you could get I don't know, 3,000 copies of your book made, hustle your book and sell that, you know? But like a lot of people don't don't want to do that. They don't want to hustle. They want to, they, they feel better paying someone else to gain acceptance. But then if you spend all that money and you don't win any of the awards, like what, what, what do you do then? Like, do you find a bridge? Like... I don't, I just, I, I don't get it. Let's say you're a poet who happens to live in Michigan like I do, a state where the minimum wage is nine eighty seven an hour. You would have to work two and a half hours before taxes to cover the cost of one submission. Oh, yeah, th this whole thing's stupid. Okay, so prize information. Okay, so how many of these things are offering a cash prize? 50%, that's pretty good. It, it would be nice to win some some scratch from that um unknown again why why are you having a competition a contest if people don't know if they have to pay for it and they don't know if they're even going to win anything idiots i don't get it and then i i guess again your graph and the whatever 19 percent has no prize or comps 
Um, and then nine percent uh, of prizes have royalties, but no cash prize, which means they're going to put your book out. Most of these things, when you win the prize, your book gets put out, which is why um, my upcoming book, I I won um, your mom's sodomy prize for poetry, because I I went to her MFA, and um, her MFA, I, I I was there for an extensive amount of time. Um, but I'm not going to tell you what MFA stands for. Okay, so to be honest, I'm surprised how high the percentage of unknowns is here. Totally. It points to an easy, very quick win for publishers who are committed to transparency and accessibility. I 100% agree. And poets, especially if you're new in the process, please remember that it's okay to ask about these things. Totally. $167,500 is the total amount of prize money available. That's not bad. The average prize amount is about two grand. That's awesome. Median is a thousand. So I guess this is why you do it. It's like playing the lottery. Like I think you would be better off spending three thousand dollars on scratchers than um, doing this. But you know, four of them had a ten thousand cash prize. Yeah, that's worth paying the thirty bucks. I think worth noting. You'll likely pay taxes on any award. Okay. So using the average fee. If each opportunity received 250 submissions, that would be over $780,000 put into the poetry community by writers in just one year of submitting. Wow, so this is probably why they do that. Maybe I'll do that. I'll, I'll get poetry prize. Yeah, dude, charge people 20 bucks. See how many we get. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so I guess that's it. So you can see this spreadsheet by clicking here, which I'm actually gonna do, so hang on. Let me see if it's new. Why can I not click on a... Ugh. Hey, do me a favor and um, put your... Uh, unbelievable. Okay, let me see if I could just find it if I go through this person's... I don't know if I'm even on Substack right now. Let me see. Was it down here? Let me see. Is this here? Oh, no. I'm still at the same place. Is it... Okay. If this... Is it... Their Substack. Okay, Emily, I'm gonna tell you something right now. If I can't figure out how to get to your Substack, your website is kind of pointless. So, yeah, whatever. Email, Twitter, Instagram, okay? But you're trying to hawk a, um, let's see, the Poetry Bulletin. Is this it? <sighs> okay, I don't wanna go to the spreadsheet. I wanna go to the article. Do you have the article? It said on your thing that you, Okay, I'm just gonna have to, oh my God. Poetrybulletin.substack.com. Okay, let's let's start with there. Poetrybulletin.substack.com slash, oh, it doesn't even exist. Okay, well, um, maybe she spent all her money on um, this, I don't know. Whatever, okay, so long story over, I tried. Let me, let me see if I could actually get any info on here. Is there like a list at the bottom? No, I mean, it looks like there's tons of money to be had here. Fees seem to be in between 30 and 25 from what I can see. So um, that's a thing. Oh wait, maybe I could just do this. Is this gonna work? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's here. Let me see if anything changed. You better have some pie graphs. Oh my gosh, no pie graphs. Did this say anything about how this is better? <sighs> From me just glancing at this, there doesn't seem to be any difference. So, you know, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. Okay? So, hopefully that was interesting. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, let me know down below. If you're going to subscribe to this thing and like get all this information, let me know down below as well. That'd be fun. Everyone's having a good time now. So until next time, everyone, I'll talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.